Hello my friends and happy Hobbit Day everyone. This video is in collaboration with the Nerd of the Rings YouTube channel where all the Tolkien YouTubers are getting together and doing videos for Hobbit Day. The playlist of everyone's videos will be on his channel so when the playlist does go live I will leave a link in the description. Also go and check out the Nerd of the Rings as well his link will be in the video description. So my video for Hobbit Day is an interesting one as of course this is all a celebration and that is why today we're looking at celebrations we could see in the upcoming Amazon Lord of the Rings TV series so it ties in perfectly. So let's get into today's video. As most of you know compared to the first and third ages of Middle Earth Tolkien didn't go into as much detail about the second age and there really isn't a single celebration or specific event that is remembered as a clear celebration. So that is why I'm going to be expanding on celebrations and actually looking at stuff such as birthdays, key events that could be seen as celebrations and celebratory rituals etc. Now that I've cleared things up, let's begin. We are going to be starting off with Numenor as there are a few celebrations slash traditions that we can look at. Firstly, Numenorians were given by Ariel Luvatar the gift of long life but also mortality and this was meant to be seen as a gift and to be celebrated and for many years it was until an event that we will touch upon in a bit. Every time a new king took the throne and kinship of Numenor they were given Ta in front of their name and this became a tradition all the way to Ta Ardarmin to celebrate the line of the kings of Numenor. Even after the end of the th Second Age and well into the Third Age, the line of the Kings of Numenor were celebrated and were seen as strong in great kings until the inclusion of Anatar. Touching back on the point earlier about the gift of mortality, originally it was meant to be seen as a gift and that is what we just touched upon, but that suddenly stopped. This was due to the interference of Sauron who deceived and tricked the Numenorean people into actually cursing the gift of mortality and made them see it as a bad and awful thing and this led to the Numenorians cursing and hating the Valar and even Eru himself. Now we are going to see another celebration but an awful one which was in fact led by Sauron and this was the worshipping of Morgoth the first Dark Lord and Sauron made the Numenorean people worship him and celebrate him and see him as a great and wonderful figure and sacrifice people during rituals as well to celebrate Morgoth. However, this celebration and worshipping of Morgoth was not carried out by everyone as the faithful of Numenor rejected it. So from this, we can see the celebration of wonderful things like the line of Numenor and the gift of long life and also the celebration of evil such as Morgoth and the rejection of mortality by the Numenorian people. Now, let's move on to some events that could be celebrated. The Battle of Guathlo occurred in the year 1700 of the Second Age and it was a decisive battle of the War of the Elves and Sauron that brought an end to Sauron's power for many centuries. Initially, Sauron's forces regrouped and joined with his forces in Therabad but then they were assailed by the pursuing force of Gilgalad and then by a force of Numenorians coming up through the Grey Flood and attacking from the rear. In the battle Sauron and his armies were utterly routed. The ensuing victory left Sauron crippled but not defeated. So overall in the short term it was a decisive battle and a big defeat for Sauron which could be celebrated. But of course these celebrations wouldn't last long for as many years later Sauron in Numenor challenged Alpharazon for the overlordship of all of Middle Earth. During the Second Age Many new places and regions were founded which could be celebrated such as the foundations of Mithlond also known as the Grey Havens under Curd and the Shipwright and the realm of Linden under Gilgalad in the first years of the Second Age. These would be very important places especially Linden as this is where the High King Gilgalad resided. In the year 32 of the Second Age Numenor was founded with Elros now known as Tarminyato was its first ruler. Also, Moria was populated during this time 
As many dwarves abandoned the ruined cities of Belagos and Nogrod in the arid Luwin and joined Durin's folk in Moria. Another event that could be seen as a celebration, especially for Numenorians, was in the year 600 of the Second Age, where the first Numenorian ship set sail and made contact with Middle-earth, which is important due to the events that later preceded it. A more controversial celebration that we could see in the show is the forging of the Rings of Power and then being handed out and distributed to all the races of Middle-earth. Of course, this depends on which perspective you take this from. For example, for the kings of men that received these rings, they believed they received them for much strength and power. Even for the elves who do not fully trust Anatar, this could be seen as a gift as well, due to the fact that, for example, Galadriel used her ring Nenya to form the foundations of Lothlorien. Finally, initially, for Celebrimbo, it could be seen as a big achievement for him as he is one of if not the last of the line of Feanor and he's making these powerful rings. As I said before, these events aren't necessarily traditional celebrations which are, which are done or remembered every year, but are key events during these times which these characters and people see in their eyes as being great things and that should be celebrated and hopefully this could be portrayed in Amazon's Lord of the Rings TV series. The most interesting one is seeing how the show put the celebration and worship of Morgoth in my opinion. But that's it for today's video, thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Of course I couldn't cover everything that could be celebrated in the show or could be seen in the show, so if you have any more please leave them in the comments below. And also happy Hobbit Day everyone, thank you again for Nerd of the Rings for doing this big collaboration with all the Tolkien channels as again I urge you to please check the playlist out when in the in the description if it's already been there and if not just go to the nerd of the rings youtube channel that link will be there so you can go and check it out and see all the other tolkien youtubers videos as well but until the next video my friends goodbye